We're 8-1 and one on the show the last two days. If you're wondering about the 10th play, well, that was an NFL season win total bet on the Cowboys that I gave out yesterday. Feel free to check that out on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. But first, stick around as I've got five Major League Baseball winners for you on Tuesday. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on any of these. Up first, San Diego. First five run line versus Pittsburgh. I will gladly lay the half run in the first five with the Padres here as they're sending Dylan Cease to the bump tonight eight times this season. Cease has gone at least six innings while giving up two hits or fewer. Not two runs, two hits or fewer. That is believed to be a Major League Baseball record. Four of his last seven starts, Cease has not allowed a single run. Four straight wins where he's allowed one run on five hits total during that stretch. 36 strikeouts in 27 and two-thirds innings pitched. That stretch includes a no-hitter. So I don't think anyone is questioning Cease winning NL Pitcher of the Month honors for July. I've got no problem laying just minus 125 for him to pitch the po- to pitch the Padres, easy for me to say, to a lead after five innings tonight, especially against Bailey Falter, who has a 4.99 expected ERA. Uh, the Pirates, they're 28th in WRC Plus against righties this year. So Padres' first five run line, it is. Number two, let's look at Reds Marlins. Yesterday's show, I told you to back the Reds in the first five. Sure enough, they jumped out to a 7 nothing lead. Doesn't get much easier than that. For tonight, I once again expect a strong starting pitching effort for the Reds. They're going to send out Nick Lodolo. He did get rocked his last time out, but 2.82 ERA, 0.81 whip outside of Great American Ballpark this season. This is a road game, obviously. And Lodolo's facing a bad Marlins lineup that is 29th in runs per game for the season. Next to last, ahead of only the White Sox. Reds bullpen, good as well. I talked about that yesterday. So are we playing the Reds again tonight? No. I do not feel comfortable asking this inconsistent offense to produce a second straight strong game at the plate. They've actually lost the last four times. They've been off the game where they scored 10 or more runs. So under is my call for Reds Marlins. I think Meyer's going to pitch well for Miami here as well. Phillies Dodgers. This is a late game. Dodgers took yesterday's series opener by a score of 5 to 3. Phillies have now dropped 7 of 8 overall, but I am backing the Phils in this one because they're facing Clayton Kershaw, who has not looked good at all since returning from the IL. Last time out, Kershaw allowed 7 runs in 3 and 2 thirds innings and did not strike a single batter out. His fastball velocity has been way down relative to past years. Kershaw is a straight fade for me right now. Back the Phillies as underdogs on Tuesday. Astros Rangers is next up on the docket. And I like Houston under its team total here, guys. That number's four and a half. Heavily juiced, minus 140, but for good reason. The Strolls aren't scoring many runs right now. Seven of the last eight games, they've been held to three runs or less. The one exception was a game against the Pirates where they benefited from three errors to score three unearned runs. So I'm going to follow the recent trend and back Houston under its team total of four and a half. Okay, before I get to my fifth and final play today, I want to let you know, guys, I have a 5% max bet on tap for Tuesday at wagertalk.com. Just my fifth this season in MLB. I'm three and one so far with those big time advantages in this one. Head on over, wt.buzz slash bp right away to pick that up. Don't forget about the special offer we've got going on right now as well. You buy two months, you get the rest of August free, instant $299 savings. But the big one on tap, 5% max bet for me in Major League Baseball on Tuesday. All right, let's round out the Power 5 with a play on the Guardians. They have lost three straight home games for just the second time this season. Lost two to Baltimore, then fell in extra innings last night against Arizona. But the guards not only haven't lost four straight home games all season, they haven't lost four in a row, period, in 2024. Only lost two home series all year. So history suggests they're going to bounce back Tuesday, especially with Ben Don't Call Me Blake Lively starting. The guards are 7-1 and one when Lively starts a progressive field this season. He has a 2.70 ERA and a 1.05 whip here. We're also getting the best bullpen in the business at this price. Got to back Cleveland. Let's now recap the Power Five, shall we? It all started, if you recall, with San Diego. First five, run line, minus half run. That's minus 125 currently. 
We like the Reds Marlins under eight. Number three, we like the Phillies. They are slight underdogs against the Dodgers. Number four, we like the Astros team total under four and a half. Juiced, that's okay. Number five, last but not least, we are backing the Cleveland Guardians. Minus, eh, call it minus 110, minus 115 as of this recording. They have not lost four straight home games all season. One more time. All right, you can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Always appreciate the feedback, whether it's good or bad. Again, don't forget about the 5% play currently available on my page. WT.buzz slash BP is the place to get it. 75% this season with 5% MLB max bets. Don't forget to smash that like button if you already haven't done so. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, I don't know what else to say. What are you waiting for? Uh, I'll be doing the morning wager with Mark Zinno, as always, Monday through Friday. And I also appear on Wager Talk today with Teddy and the Prez at noon Eastern. Can't wait for that. But have a great day, everybody. Let's catch some tickets.